How to create a journal using Canva templates for Amazon KDP, Amazon KDP Publishing Journal. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can create your own journal to post on Amazon and how you can get started with your design using a simple Canva template. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on to the KDP cover calculator. So you're going to go on to kdp.amazon.com into slash cover calculator, and then you're going to choose how you want your cover to be so it's going to be paperback you're going to choose the interior color you're going to choose the paper type so it's going to be left to right and then you're going to add your measurement units into inches and then you're going to enter your interior trim size so five into eight or let's say i want to make a six by nine inch trim size and then you're going to add the number of pages that you want within your journal let's say i want to create a 60 page journal then you're going to click on calculate dimensions and just like that your template will be downloaded then you're just going to click on save image as and then you're going to save this image then you're going to head on over to canva so uh, you can see this is your overall image and you're going to see your full cover so you're going to add this width so you're just going to copy this amount this number and then you're going to go into canva click on custom size change it from pixels to inches then you're going to enter your width and then you're going to enter the height as well you're going to copy this and then paste it over here. And just like that, you have the most accurate dimensions calculated for your Amazon KDP journal. Once you have this canvas loaded, you're going to click on uploads and you're going to upload the file that you just downloaded. So what you're going to do is you're going to just head on over to your downloads, upload the image that you just downloaded. So this image, you're just going to wait for this to be downloaded and you can actually use this like as a reference image you can just split the page by half but what i would recommend is that you go on over and expand this and then you're just going to fit you see those gray cutting lines so you're just going to fit this right where it's supposed to be around here and once you have the image right at the center it's going to expand it like so making sure everything is correctly placed so we're just going to make sure it's all correctly placed over here like this and you're just going to use these gray lines as demarcations for how your image will be looking like we're just going to wait for this to be like so and we're just going to expand it a little more just try to align the gray cutting lines directly to your canvas make sure it's all super nicely aligned and centered like this so once they have been aligned properly what you're going to do so once these are aligned like so you can just click on lock over here and this will lock this base image and then you can begin designing or you just you can enter the spine a width over here just to be able to see uh, more clearly where the spine will lie once you have done this, what you're going to do is you're going to go on to your element section and you can begin designing your cover image for your journal. So what you're going to do is you're going to begin designing your journal. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the element section. We're going to search for grid and then we're going to click on graphics over here and I want to make this like a super cute little journal. So once the page is unlocked, we're just going to select the image and lock it on the top so make sure the page is unlocked and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this like print over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a base black color so i'm going to search for black and then i'm actually going to make it semi-transparent the reason that i'm making it semi-transparent is because i actually need to be able to see the design in the back for me to be able to accurately design the rest of the image so once i have designed this what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this image over here so you can see this has been placed over here and a better way to do this before you place your background is that you can just go into lines and then take a line over here and once you have this line just rotate the line place it over here click on the width of the line and increase it so it fits best into the size of the demarcations like this and then you're just going to increase the length do command c and command v and place this on the other side of the spine as well and then you can place this at the bottom so you're just going to rotate this like so once you have rotated it you're just going to place it on the bottom and top as well and this will just help you serve as a better demarcation line. 
So now that we have our demarcation line, you can unlock this image and delete it. And now you can actually begin designing. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the color to black. So for this, I will change all the demarcation lines to be white before I change the uh, color to black of the background. Once I have this in black, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the element section. I'm going to take my grid over here. I'm going to change the grid color to white. And once I have the grid color to white, I'm going to place it on this corner over here like this. And then uh, I think I like this design over here. Or maybe I want to place it on the back like this. So it goes all over the book cover like so. It's like one cohesive design. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to search for square. I'm going to click on graphics over here and then you can use like a simple square or one of these frames over here like this one or a simple colored line like this one and then we're just going to resize this and place it right at the center of our front page and then I'm going to click on edit image or you can just leave it as is and then you can enter the name like the person that is going to write this journal is going to write their name over here or you can enter my journal or this journal belongs to you can use one of these font combos over here so you're just going to enter like let's take this font combo which is pretty nice over here this one so we're just going to enter this text over here you can add how whatever text suits the theme of the journal so if it's like a feminine journal you can add wellness journal or whatever to the title page and we're just going to resize this is like a aesthetic tech kind of journal and we're just going to enter this and then we're going to change the color so we're going to change it to a blue color palette that is the one that i think would look best on with this kind of overall look we're just going to go with blue and then we're going to click on the effect and the internal color. You're just going to click on that. And then the internal color is going to be like a lighter shade of blue. So we're just going to go with a lighter shade of blue. Or you can go with white like this. And then the person can write their name. So once you have done all of the basic designing, what you can do is remove your internal demarcation line. So we're just going to go on ahead. And we're going to refix our design and you can delete these if you want if you want to place like a spine design you can do that as well so you can search for flowers line or grid because like this is like a grid kind of look so the overall theme is a grid so maybe i want like another blocks or grids into the center of the spine so for that i'm taking these squiggly kind of designs that i'm going to rotate them to 90 degrees i'm going to resize them and place them right on my spine and then what i'm going to do is once i've placed these i'm going to remove the demarcation lines or first i'm going to make these white for a blue color and then i'm going to remove the demarcation lines place this back where it belongs right on over here and then i'm just going to do command c and command b and then i'm just going to keep on placing them right below each other and this will serve as like the spine design you can choose to make like one larger design if you want like this so now i have my spine design and this is going to be the front of my book and then you're just going to go on ahead on canva and just go ahead and create a 9 by 12 inch canvas click on create new design and this will be like your basic design so this is you're going to have the width so it's going to be 6 by 9 and this is going to be your page size, each individual page. And for this, you're just going to go into your element section, take a simple line and make sure it's in gray color because the actual lines of pages are never fully black. They're gray. Expand this. And then you're just going to do command C and command V and add as many lines for your internal pages. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.